for a lot of fabric I have. Let's see. So now we need our bust bust measurements. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to fold this. This is a scrap, so the one I'm working with is eight inches. That means I'm going to mark eight inches on both sides. Then my eight inches, I'm going to be adding extra one inch to it, making it nine inches. So all the sides will be nine. So, this is what I have. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in this way. Alright, after folding it this way, this is what I have. It now looks like a triangle. Okay. The next thing to do is flip this. Remember, we did this then. Folded it in to be like a triangle. Then pick up one end here and connect it to this point that is here. <laughs> get a bigger scissors because this is a little bit much then I'm going to cut it so this is what I have now now I'm going to cut this So now this is what we have. So this and this will go. This and this. This is what it looks like. The first it needs to open. So I cut it into four pieces like this. Into four pairs. This is a pair. This is a pair. This is a pair. This is a pair. So now, let me assume this is the first two. This is the ones I was using to turn it out as a lining. So, what I need to do is I'm going to run a stitch from here. Close it up. The same thing I'm going to do to this part. Something I'll do to these ones. So I'm going to run a stitch on them. 
So let's keep them aside. Then we're going to cut a strap for it too. So we're still making use of this because in a strap. The strap of marking, let me see one and a half inches bold. So this is my strap. I'm going to place it aside. Then the band. So we're going to be doing some journey, 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 journey. This is my brand. I'm going to be joining, 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 joining. So now this is this is the parts of stitch them together. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it up this way. This is my strap. Uh, so I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to open up this one too. So the right sides will be facing the right sides. Then I'm going to stitch on it. So now the stitches is going to go this way. I'm going to run a stitch from this point round up to this part that is in. I also do the same thing to this other one. So this other piece of it. So 
So this is the strap. This is the broomstick. What I do is just push it and thread it. Yes, you come out very fine. So this is what this one looks like. So that's how this other part is going to look. So I'm going to stitch on it now. This is the next thing I'm going to do. This is my cups. They are ready. I place them this way. Then this is my band. Remember with this I'm joining to make it this long. So I'm going to notch the center front of this band now. So that's my center. Now I'm going to place one cup on top of each other this way. Alright. Secure it with a pin. Now I'll keep the two points in place with the pin. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure what I have here. Have 13 inches, all right. So now 13 inches, 13 inches. If you divide it by two, you'll we'll be having six and a half. So I'm going to mark six and a half from the center point away on both sides. So this is where my six and a half is going to be. I'm also going to mark six and a half from this point. Or better still, I will notch it a little. I also notch it here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up this way. Run a stitch towards this end and stop at where I marked my six and a half. The same thing I will do to this point. Now I'm done stitching it. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to pull it out. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this inside this and top stitch on it. That's the next thing I'm going to do.
So now I'm going to run a stitch on top of it. Alright, so that's the next thing we are doing. This is what it looks like. 